Miners are now taking the field. They're getting together and running through the cheerleaders. Taking the field, the cannon goes off. And we're ready for some action on a beautiful Saturday night here at All Good Bailey Stadium. We've got second and three, ball on the minor three yard line, ball on the right hash. Lions looking to answer the Miners' opening field goal. High snap, hands with the running back out the middle, but brought down and the ball's fumbled. And it's minor football. Coach, that's uh, number 30, Lonell Jones, who came up with the football after a really nice hit by an interior player of the Miners. Did not get his number, but I'm sure Coach is going to see it on film. He fakes the handoff, a little bit of heat. He steps up, has a receiver down the field. He makes the catch to the 20, to the 10. Goal line touchdown. Kevin Dillon, coach, I think that was Kevin Dillon. Turn around, hand to Ryan Taylor again. He has room oh, to the right. This. He has, makes a cut. Ball's gonna be on the two yard line. Tight end over the middle, he makes the catch. That's gonna be number 89. Jake Gillum on the, on the touchdown reception. Miners try an onside kick and I don't think it went 10 yards. They are pulling out all the stuff. Yeah, it's across the 40. It, okay, yeah. it did go 10 yards and it'll be minor football. The, Onside kick was successful for the Miners. They've got three receivers to the short side of the field. Quarterback drops back to Rebe, it's a screen. Number four, Hurdles, he lost the ball and went right to Miners. Number 25 on the reception. Stepped out of bounds over here, coach. But what a great play by the Miner defense. Cameron Williams. First down and 10, ball at the 20 yard line. 10 minutes left in the third quarter. Miners leading 19 to nothing with the Lions marching. High snap, ball handed to Jimerson. He squeaks out, he's gonna have enough to score right up the middle. And that's gonna end the Miners shutout. Miners left a running back in, or person in the running back position for protection. But he go, he's handed the ball. That's number 37. He's got room to run. That's Jake Drawmeyer, coach. That's well the name of Jake Drawmeyer. Takes the ball to the 40-yard line for a big first down by the Miners. A little bit of movement on the line. They're going to flare it out to Drawmeyer. He's going to be tackled and fumble the football. He's going to go to the Lindenwood Lions on the 25-yard line. Uribe drops back. A little bit of heat. Right there. And he's going to be brought down, and the ball's loose. And I think the White Hat's going to say he was down. Yep, that's exactly what they're doing. One of them slips out to the right, turns and runs upfield. Good protection. And we've got a touchdown. Quarterback Uribe drops back over the middle. He's got an intended Pick. receiver. It's picked off. That's going to be number six. That's Hilton Dawson, Coach. Hilton Dawson. Josh takes the snap, takes the last kneel down, and that's it. They're shaking hands on the field, and uh, the Lions know right now, Coach, that they've been in a football game, and the Miners are going to savor this for 24 hours and get back to work. Yeah. You know, the, the mark of a good team is you're uh, you're supposed to beat the opponents that you're better than, uh, but you uh, if you want to be a good team and get better, you've got to beat teams that are as good, if not better, than you are. And that's what the Miners did tonight. They beat a Lions team that was 3-0, and had won a game against a uh, football championship series team in Northern Colorado, put a lot of points up against Miner foe St. Joseph's uh, last week, and uh, now the Lions are headed back to St. Charles, 3-1. and one.